Oh, this is nice and bright clear. Damn, I still gotta find a dashiki for Saturday. <laughs> oh, I saw one in the store. Yeah, yesterday. I'm trying to get it. I'm gonna have to order one. I don't want one that everybody else got. Ah, uh, okay. Mine went to Rogers and got hit. Okay. I saw one in Ross, I want to say. Was, was that where I saw it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hey, we are live now. We are live now. Let's get the music queued up because I got it right here. Uh, see what we got on with us. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for looking. Metaphor for the oh, Michael Eric Dyson, shut up. All right, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. What up, Thad? That is. What else we got? Who else we got? Hey, before we uh, get started, because we just doing a quick show tonight, um, like and share the video if you can, please. Like and share the video. Chale, what up? What up, Chale? What up, Rod? What up, uh, Ian Finch? Otney. Um, <laughs> and then we got Miss Felicia Cotton what watching. Up? Uh, what up? Good evening, and uh, welcome to the It's About Time show. I am your co-host, uh, Chuck Beard, the one and the only, a.k.a. Mr. Appropriately Inappropriate. Um, and I got That's my... <laughs> That's I got my... Uh, my square with me this evening, the noble himself, Mr. Anton Birch, aka the Candyman. Party people. AKA Patron Killer. Yes, sir. AKA uh Never No More Jack D on the weekends. No. <laughs> I don't do Jack Daniels. It's been a long time since me and him been friends. Bro. What's up, Kelly? What's up, Andrika? Hey, I know that y'all are looking and seeing that we are minus one this evening. I know she on here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she on here yet. But uh, anyway, you know your ass on here online, but I don't know if you on here. Man, you gotta hit him up. I'm finna share it to him right now. But anyway, the queen is actually out of town. It was her birthday this weekend. It's my dog birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday this weekend, and you know she uh, she was coerced into leaving the city for a little while. I'm glad. And, yeah, so now she's somewhere in Texas, Colleen, Texas, uh, Backwoods and all that good stuff. Anyway, 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 because it was her 21st birthday for the however many of time, um, we, this evening, are going to celebrate her birthday, with, birthday. with a tribute to the queen. That is our topic for the evening. Um, also... If you have not liked and shared it, please like and share the video right now. Uh, we're trying to get as many people to log in as we can so we can start, you know, get some folks feeding back to us and all that good stuff. And if you never watched the show before, I do a segment called What the Fuck Chuck? Oh, and I was, I was at Wayne's house yesterday actually reading through some stuff and, uh... <laughs> a headline popped up. Let me let me get it up real quick so I can uh, so I can tell y'all. I, all I'm gonna do is just read the headline. It's gonna tell you scared. everything you need to know about the story. Okay. Are y'all? Are y'all? Uh, dang, I don't even see it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find it, y'all. Forgive me. Don't shoot me. I gotta find it. I should have had it up. Y'all can you know be mad at me later. Uh oh. Here it is. And this comes from SomeDaily.org, right? Okay. The headline reads, when it pops up, Two burglars sodomized for five days after breaking into the house of a notorious gay rapist. <laughs> so that motherfucker paid them back. <laughs> you want to break in my house? You want to talk about me? Man, give you what you want. Man, look, I'm gonna read it again just in case somebody didn't get it. Two burglars sodomized for five days <laughs> straight 
After breaking into the house of a notorious gay rapist. Yeah, I wouldn't even go to sleep. I'd be trying to get the fuck out of there. Wait a minute. If it's two on one, how the fuck y'all didn't get out the goddamn house? Oh, that's a good question. The I dude, guess they wanted it. The dude whose house they broke into was named Harry Harrington. That sounds <laughs> like a porn name. I know, that's a porn name Harrington. for real. This dude stands six foot seven inches and is 300 pounds of solid muscle. He's what? Six foot seven. 300 pounds. No wonder. They yeah. Get out that motherfucker. Yeah, and pure muscle is oh, what that they nigga, said. That nigga was, uh, uh, what's your boy from Friday After Next? <laughs> yeah, D, uh, no, no, uh, what's his name? Damon. Damon. <laughs> Come here, niggas. <laughs> I like my fish uh, uh, way squirmy. squirmy. <laughs> Oh, I'm finna read you part of what it says. Oh my God. You see, Harry is also a notorious homosexual sex predator with a long record for assaults on gays. Being such an aggressive, predatory sexual assaulter with an enormous build, this is one dude you don't want to cross. But these two guys not only, not only crossed him, they broke into his house. Known also as the Wolf Man, Harrington manhandled the men with ease. He proceeded to tie them up, mm. then did... What he does for uh, five days straight. They, they, now it's two on one. I know that's a big dude, but y'all didn't put up no resistance. They must have wanted it. Man, look, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the article up on the on the Facebook page when we get done. I'm gonna read this next line. The cries for help were so overwhelming that a neighbor eventually heard the men and called police. Must <laughs> you know. Look, that's the dude. Oh yeah, I'm not fucking with him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to see the picture. I'm finna share it right now on the page, so... I'm not fucking with him. So y'all can see it. But yeah, man, I read this story. I was like, what the fuck? Can you imagine? Actually, number one, I'm not finna be the person out there breaking in folk houses like that. But then, you break in somebody's house and get raped nonstop for five days. You become the gimp <laughs> for five days straight. What? How you sitting in there and letting this big ass nigga? You know what time it is, boy. He said it. I mean, the article said he tied him up. So, I, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm not. Help me. <laughs> Help me. They did the only thing I guess they could do was just scream as Help loud me. as possible. Ah! Ah! Hey. Help me. When all else fails, you got to use your voice. <laughs> Help me. Oh man, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to share it, y'all. Y'all forgive me for just one second here. My bad. Help me. <laughs> Harry got me in the chokehold. Harry got him in the chokehold, all right? Man, I right. dang it. I'm finna have to push on. Glad you don't get the police on shit that. I don't want to see no more. You don't see no more of that? Yeah, no. Nah. Right. You up he in there. He said he don't want me to share. But well, now nah, you share it. I don't want to see no more of that. Everybody <laughs> else to see it. Dude laying up there in his, in his get a girl outfit, man. Uh, and speaking of that, man, and I ain't trying to squash it. I, I guess I'm throwing out two live crew references, man. Rest in peace to Fresh yeah. Kid Ice. Yeah, rest in peace, Fresh Kid Ice. Hey, man. I was a two live crew junkie. You, you, uh, uh, 80s, baby. You mothers around my age and mm, probably in your mid to late 30s. Should yeah. know who Fresh Kid Ice is, man. Yeah. Revolutionaries. Yeah. People won't call them that, but if it wasn't for Two Live Crew, it wouldn't be no dirty talking rap. Especially what these jokes nope. say they talking about right now. Nope. It wouldn't be no rap in the strip club. They was the first ones to do the rap in the strip. It wouldn't be no, I guess it would be twerking, but it wouldn't be twerking the rap mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. And tell you what you're going to get. Throw this D. You da -da -da -da. know what I'm saying? Throw this D. Yeah. All right. Um... Since you scratched one of mine off my list. I'm right. sorry. No, you good. You good. We had to talk about it. Look, I'm going to get this out the way right now. There's an old saying that says, give them enough rope and they will hang themselves. Okay. And I don't know if y'all been paying attention to what's been going oh, on. Oh, man. Are we got to talk about 45. Donald Trump Jr. Oh, no, no, we're not talking about 45. We're talking about 45. So, Donald Trump Jr. 45 is, Jr. Yeah. Yeah, 45 Jr. is about to find himself in a whole heap of trouble. He's already committed perjury. He's already committed collusion, which is easy to prove based on what's happened this week. And then now, he has 
done it in such a way that he's implicated a whole bunch more people. Suddenly, a hundred emails out the blue come popping up. Then, when, uh, there was a meeting that they thought was four people has now turned into eight people, possibly nine people, and... Gots to be more careful. Yeah, you give them enough rope. They will hang themselves. They gonna hang themselves. Well, and you know what's funny, the backdrop, and this is, you know, I, I'm not... I don't research the Trumps and all their family and all that, but from what I understand, he was the least liked of them. He's junior. He was not the golden boy, you know what I'm saying, per se. Him and his dad didn't have always, always have a warm and fuzzy, you know, relationship. But I guess, you know, that's what power would do to you. You bring him back in the fold and there it is. I mean, you know, it's obvious he's, not the brightest star in the sky, so you know I can see that. Anyway, that's all we gonna talk about with this Jack Leg ass presidency we got going on right now. Okay, next story, and I'm so sick of this bullshit, man. Because right. we we already know what happened. Actually, not what happened, but we know that it was a cover up. It was a conspiracy going on. Um, one of the officers in Texas who was involved with Sandra Bland's case has come forward and said that they they purposely left out testimony, they purposely left out a lot of information, and they purposely, um, you know, left out key pieces of testimony that would have, you know, possibly led to the conviction of the, the, the guy who actually killed Sandra Bland, which was the officer that arrested her. Um, and... As you would suspect, the officer that's coming forward is being thrown under the bus. He's had disciplinary action. He's had this. He's had that. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Yeah. yeah. For what now? It's after the fact unless they can just retry his motherfucking ass, which we know that ain't going to happen. Well, I mean, no, they can retry because it's not technically double jeopardy if new information comes out. Yeah. Um, however, I seriously doubt they're going to retry him. Yeah, exactly. That's I mean, just point. just because there's only one officer that's coming forward, all the rest of the officers are still bitches. I'm sorry, I didn't say that out loud. But uh, all the rest of the officers are still not forthcoming with the information that they have. And they're sticking to the story. It's my story, I'm sticking to it. Anyway, enough about that. All right. Y'all remember when the uh, Native American people were rioting, not really rioting, but were taking a stand uh, in North Dakota because pipeline. of the pipeline, the Dakota pipeline? What do they call it? Uh, Keystone exam? Yeah. Anyway, all the fears that the Native Americans had have come true because there's been a spill on that pipeline. It's only leaked 84 gallons. So only? Only 84 oh, gallons. Okay, only. Yeah, only 84 gallons. Which, I mean, you know, it could have been a lot worse, but at the same time, like, 84 gallons that are now in the environment that should have been in the pipeline is still too much. We told y'all that they quit fucking with the land. Figure out another way to get the, the oil from Canada to the United States. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because, you know, you had all these people... I don't know. I, it's just a sad state of affairs when money is the ruler over everything, including the environment and food sources and just the lives of people. Like all, all this is about is money. All right. All it is about money. Yeah, it's exactly. All right, last story I got before we go to my nigga of the week. Um... And I had to get this one in here. I said it last week. Alonzo Ball. Uh, Alonzo. Is that his name? You talking about daddy? No. You talking about the son? Yeah. Uh, uh, Zoe Ball. Whatever his name Lonzo. is. Lonzo. Yeah. Lonzo. Lonzo Ball. Not uh, Lonzo. Lonzo Ball. Like Gonzo. Lonzo. Has been averaging a triple double over the last four games that he played. He's the first player in uh, Summer League history. Yeah. First player in Summer League history to, to even, average that. To average a triple double. And because of all the hype that surrounded this young man, he's been selling, or well, the Lakers have been selling out arenas. 
in summer league play. In Vegas. Um, Vegas. And during the week, he showed up in some Adidas, some James Harden Adidas, and then he showed up in some Kobe Bryant Nikes, right? Now, Nike and Adidas are in a bidding war to get this young man's shoe contract. They was originally going to give him $10 million. Now, the bidding war has gone upwards of $100 million. You know what he's wearing today? What's they that? playing right now. What's that? The, uh, uh, let me pull it up. The Air Jordan, Air Jordan twenty threes, I think. What? Yeah, he he rocking some Jordans today. <laughs> As they playing this, the semifinals, the championship game is tomorrow for the summer league. Okay. Uh, let me pull these up. Yeah, he's wearing Jordan somethings. I had it too. But yeah, he he he's doing his thing. He he out mm-hmm. there. I mean, look, I'm I'm not mad at the young man, and I'm actually glad that his father's plan is working out because they made a gang of cash off the shoes, even though they five hundred dollars a piece. They made a gang of cash off the shoes, and now they're being offered a hundred million dollar contract. You know, JJ Watt trolled him about not wearing his own shit when JJ Watt debuted his new line of shoes through Nike, and uh, he trolled him this week about not wearing his own shoes. If they all that, he's like, shit, why? I'm, make, I'm keeping mine in 99 so people can buy them and afford them. But why aren't you wearing your own shoes? Look, how much is J.J. Watt getting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, the, the dude, okay, obviously, LeVar Ball, the father, had a plan going into this, and the plan is working out masterfully. And D said, D said the boy all right. He's having a triple double. He's all right, man. Yeah. I mean, he, you know. But th- th- these are them boys that just got drafted in second yeah. year players. Let them get up here with these big boys here come yeah, October, mean, November. He's still, he's still not league tested. But at the same time, from a financial standpoint, this dude has changed the entire game. Yeah. Um, and J.J. White, you can say what you want to say. He, uh, you know, maybe he should be wearing his shoe. Jordan 31s, that's what he's wearing. But the fact that he's not wearing his shoe has caused the bidding war that's made his shoe in the eyes of Nike ten times more than what your shoe is worth. Right. You got to be smart. got to be and, quick on your feet. Yeah, shoes ain't, shoes ain't nothing but about money. So, you know, you do the math. Who comes out on the losing end on that one? All right. All that being said, we appreciate y'all watching. Whitney Graham, what's up? Uh, Spin, what's up? Spencer Gould. Um, who else is watching right now? I can't see. I don't know. We got a few people. Mickey, what up, Mickey? Um, oh, we got to get into my nigga of the week. Yeah. It, it's somebody whack. I can't even believe I chose this mother, but uh, my nigga of the week. Uh, the love affair since... Golden State has created an arms race in the words of one GM. My nigga of the week, and I don't see how he's worth it when he choked like a uh, like he choking on a chicken bone. It's James <laughs> Harden. Oh, for overtaking and being the highest paid player in the league a week after Steph signs his uh uh was it Mega Max Ultra Max yeah. Super Max that's what they call it. Yeah. Super Max. That sounds like prison. Yeah, man. you know, Supermax. I can't remember the, the what I know it's what, a hundred and something million? Over the next five, that's an extension. Cause he's already getting oh, if I'm not mistaken, a hundred and something from him. So it makes it more than step. But my question is why are you gonna give it to a whack dude that there's a notorious choker? Disappears and fades in the wind. So but I hey, mean, get that money, dude. He he almost averaged a triple double for the year though, and then he had hardly anybody on his team with him. Game six against the Spurs, what happened at home? <laughs> all right then, man. I don't want to hear all that. He averaged a triple double. I mean, and, I mean, look. he got CP3 down there to help him. We gonna see how that work out. But man, come on, man. I've never been a James Harden fan, even when he choked with the OKC Thunder when they played my Heat boys back in 2012. He's a notorious choke artist. Even when they tried to say he was uh, the number two shooting guard in the league when Kobe was still in. Not over my boy D. Wade. He got he got three rings to catch up on, and D. Wade being a two-guard leads all two guards in blocks ever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, I digress, but way to get it, James Harden. It's a whack ass. Yeah, I ain't mad. I'm not mad at him at all. Get your money. Yeah, I still gonna get drugged by the damn uh, Warriors. 
I don't know. Because they look good against San Antonio. And if Kawhi Leonard hadn't hurt himself playing against San Antonio, I mean, playing against Golden State, I think San Antonio would have beat him. <laughs> Dude, they would have ran out of firepower, man, because uh, Golden State ain't lost nobody. And, and it's, it's a damn, it's unfair how they raping people. Shout out to the Chicago Bulls for letting them pay for y'all motherfucking 38th draft pick to draft the dude that's just as bad as Draymond. <laughs> and they didn't lose anybody. Nut puncher. Well, hey, dude, hey, he defense player of the year. Man. He got two rings. Okay, so we go. <laughs> We're going to push on past my nigga of the week. Congratulations, James Harden. With, what is it, 40 million a year or something uh, like whatever. that? That nigga need to shave that Man, beard. Man, I wouldn't shave it. That beard just brought him money I, and I look. I think uh, the, the rapper Little B or whoever do got a root on him or something. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, do you do you hear my distaste for this nigga, man? Oh, give him all these kudos. He can score. M- Mickey said, you killing me with the pen flipping. This was my fidget spinner before fidget spinners existed, Mickey. Like it's a it's a habit at this point right now. Like I, I can't even really control it. It's just a, a nervous habit. Alright, so that being said, we are about to get into our topic. This evening we're gonna give a tribute to our uh co host who is not here. Queen of So in her honor, you know, y'all know we call her the Queen. That's my cousin. I call her cuz. Everybody else call her queen. I call her queen every now and then, too. Um, but I got a question. Oh, Lord, somebody comment. Yeah, somebody that said something crazy. Uh, <laughs> all right. So my question is, what? Because, you know, we hear people talk about, oh, I'm a queen, I'm a king, he a queen, he a king. You know, getting tattoos of that, all that kind of stuff, right? What makes a woman a queen as opposed to just a regular handling her business boss ass woman? I mean, do we have to go in how she got that name? I mean, we were kind of young, and no, she would have a I mean, well, we, back then. We, we can, but I'm just saying, not not her specifically. Right. I'm just saying, just in general, like, because, you know, uh, a lot of people claim to be queens and kings. It's ADD kicking in. Let me see it's tripping. Who, we, me? Yeah. You a tripping queen. <laughs> yeah, my ADD, ADD is always kicking yeah, in. Yeah. But... You got answers uh, for the facts. Thank you, Nino. I know we on my topic, but you damn right. Fucking two hundred facts. Yeah, whatever. Fuck that man. Not you, D. <laughs> Still not hard. James Hard. He he a hard hater. So anyway, I'm gonna give you my opinion on what I think makes the difference between a regular woman and a queen, right? Um. If you look at what a queen signifies, right, they routinely have to make decisions that affect multiple people, right? They also have to make decisions that some people are going to be happy with, other people's not, other people are not going to be happy with, but it's for the benefit or what she perceives to be the benefit of her kingdom, those people that she rules over. Um, also, in terms of a queen, you as a queen just don't do certain shit. They should protect the king in chess. Yeah, the queen is the strongest piece on the board. Damn right. And pr- protects the king. <laughs> so, you know, when we start talking about regular chicks versus queens, um, I think a lot of it has to do with mentally where you are, how you carry yourself, and how you interact with those people that are around you. Because you have... You have the ability to change whatever environment that you go into, and you actually do change whatever environment you go into, whether you realize it or not. But what type of change is it that you give off once you set, once you step in there? And that was the, that's to me what determines the difference between a regular chick and a king and a queen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I really thought about it because. That's the only person I call queen. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't come across anybody that deserves the title, but, you know, we gave her that name on other bases, but it just stuck. Yeah. But a, a true queen is, like you said, somebody... It's gonna hold down and, and it's gonna be the front man, you know, if you if you wanna put it that way, just like the Queen of England. She she holds all the cores in England. Although she's just a figurehead. Yeah. But she still runs the roost. Yeah. You know, you can't trump her. No. No. <laughs> If you try and do something without the queen's approval, yeah. it's going to be unfavorable with the people, and it's exactly. also going to be unfavorable with a lot of people that are decision makers. Exactly. So, like, okay, I say this also. Like, what I said is certain stuff as a queen that you just don't do. Um, you'll never see the queen of England have her. Motorcade stop. She get out and start. I mean, she a little old now, but she she get out and start twerking in the middle of uh, she won't be a thot. Piccadilly Circus. Basically, she ain't gonna be no thot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, no, she definitely gonna be a thot. But if she, you know, if she gotta get us on, it ain't like she gonna have it out there. You know what I'm well, saying? You ain't gonna know. It's gonna be discreet as hell. Yeah. Yeah, because you protect you. Just like the queen, the king is protected. The queen is also protected. Right. And then on top of that, the queen is looking out for her best interest and what's the best interest for the people that she serves. All right, so that being said, we got a woman that we call Queen that's here with us every week. And um, I know she's not here right now, but to me, everything I just said, she fits into that mode. Because, you know, like, we live in the same house and... She holds it down. The yeah. queen holds it down. Just like, well, I'll, I'll say that for my memory. I, Go ahead. You know, no, no, no. I'm going to say it for the memory. Okay. You but, know? Yeah, like, she she, she definitely holds it down. Like, she's one of the ones, like, she runs shit, and I just kind of, I'm, I'm not going to say I just back up, but for the most part, like, she runs shit. And, I, you know, I let her have it because... You know, her decisions are normally good decisions, well thought out decisions. And then she carries herself like that. And, you know, like, even though I know that's my cousin lover, um, Langston Moore said the queen is a virtuous woman. Woman, woman, woman. I would, I would say, yes, that's partially right, Langston. However, as a queen, you got to be more than a virtuous woman because you got to make certain decisions. You got to have a certain level of authority. Um, which you know, not every woman is able to uh, take on. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I was in the middle of saying something. Anyway, 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 I asked everybody, which you know, only one person is not here that I talked to, who I sent the message to. We ain't, we ain't gonna call nobody out, Dwayne Robinson. But um. <laughs> <laughs> I asked everybody to come up with some memories about the queen, our queen, a.k.a. Miss Nicole. Uh, like, what are your favorite memories? And I'm going to let Anton go first because we'll probably get into that and just be talking. Wanna, was I the stupid motherfucker that started that, that nickname? Because of when she first used to come up, we used to call her Queen of Rome. I mean, because of her dealings. Man. And I think it was either me or Manuel, and I just said, God damn, the Queen of Rome. It was, it was, it was one of the two of y'all. Yeah. I just can't remember it's been so long ago. Yeah. It you know, was, so far away. God it was it was one of the two of y'all. Yeah, like if y'all don't know, she was living in Rome and came back up to Chattanooga and I introduced her to the crew or whatever. Getting the grind on, and getting the grind on. The day that she got introduced to the crew She told us what she did. We was like, God damn, yep, she the Rome. Queen of Rome. And that that name has stuck ever since then. And instead of just being right instead of the Queen of Rome, now it's just the Queen. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my memory. Just yeah, when she rolled up back there, back in the day on in Sequoia, over ten something years ago. <laughs> God, money, the long time. He said Sequoia. Dang, I missed that. I missed that street though. Man, we, I miss that. We, we used to, yeah, yeah. I used to be the. I used to. I was the mayor of Sequoia. If y'all didn't know that. Yeah, it was like, uh, was that the mayor of uh, Black Rap City? Is it? Uh, yeah, I'm shit. But everybody used to come to me with their problems and discipline with their kids, and you know, I used to buy ice cream and frozen for the neighborhood. I just and, came over there to skis. 
That yeah. was my, my skis off her. Yeah, he. I ain't gonna even lie. He came, he came to dirty and soil my carpets. Uh, no, I used to go get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my memories, I guess a lot of them come from there too, because, um, dang, it's been a long time. Yeah. Um, I remember when I used to smoke, we used to smoke, and she used to cook. Man. She'll go in there and make a, make a three course, four course meal. And you know, you got three, four high and hungry Negroes in the living room, and a woman in there cooking. Hey. Uh, cooking it up. I think yeah, everybody yeah. fell in love with my cousin that summer. Yes, sir. We ate like motherfucking kings. Man. From the like, queen. Yeah. I remember she she went in there one day, like she just got off the couch, and I heard something crunching and crackling, and I looked up, I was like, what you doing, cuz? She said, uh, I just made a cheesecake, and showed it to me. I was like, damn, you ain't been gone with five minutes. Yeah, that's why I ain't mad at her. Yeah, the cheesecake was already made. I was like, what the hell? Um, I'm trying to think of what's some other... <laughs> She's not the only one, but routinely, I am cursed out during car rides, especially when I'm driving. <laughs> no, 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 nobody cuts me out like, like the queen. Yeah, yeah, like, she, <laughs> and I gotta go. I gotta pick up from the airport on Monday. It's gonna be interesting to ride home in her car. Right. Well, prepare to be cussed out again. Yeah. Oh, uh, Felicia said, when I first met her to her, she gives it to you 100 with no sugar coat while holding down two young men who are very respectful. She wears so many hats but still remains humble. I salute her. You're damn right, queen. And, Food is a way to a man's heart. Yes. And she, she did it. You're damn right. <laughs> she, she made everybody's heart melt. Dude, we might have killed each other that summer out of just sheer hunger. We'd have eaten somebody's leg off. <laughs> Right. She hooked us up. Man, look, Dad said, yes, sir. That's right. Yeah, Damn. Dad, Dad was the recipient of several of those meals. You did them right. Man, I mean, we never, I ain't never had nothing in the refrigerator over there. Nope. And then you were one, too, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, comment, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. What's another memory? Man. No, I'm going to tell you one. And this is, involves my dog. I was sitting, I had just got on the Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Got the hot donut sign, was doing this, and I got me a, uh, I got me a dozen donuts. And it's me and Queen and Joe. And I get my donuts, I got them on there, I got them in the, on, the, on the plate, sitting on the table. And I walk into the kitchen to get me something to drink, and she busts out laughing, right? I had three donuts. I walk back out, I got two donuts. And I'm like, what you laughing at? Actually, I didn't even notice I had two donuts. She caught the dog. <laughs> she caught the dog walking by just and smashing my donuts up and was cracking up laughing at him. Or how she used to pull up with that nigga hanging out the back. Yeah. Just, fly, just flying everywhere. You yeah. had Joe, Joe Black coming up. You saw Queen, you saw that big head yep. too. Yep. She almost stole my dog from me. Yeah. Look, and she took her first plane ride compliments of Nino Brown, aka D Connor, aka No Nick. Um, <laughs> I ain't starting with you today, D man. You know, it's your boy will. Hey, I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Anyway, she just said that the plane ride was nothing compared to the ride to the airport. It wasn't that bad. I put the cruise control on eighty, and it wasn't even no traffic out there. I was just. I promise it was 80. I put it because I try not to go too much over 80 now. I done had too many tickets. <laughs> Fat neck. That's what they said. <laughs> See, y'all y'all mess with this man, man. Y'all better watch out. Hey, Digo, Digo come in and yeah, he gonna slap fire to everybody. <laughs> hey, y'all fucking with this man. Y'all gonna get surprised, y'all. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing, D. <laughs> he's he's scared of you, D. That's what it is. And they can show up in this motherfucker. He's scared. He's saying shit. 
man. I'm scared of D. Um, anyway, I'm anyway. I'm talking his knees, goddamn it. <laughs> For real. Now, I'm going to start. He got bad feet. I'm going to be all <laughs> on his toes. <laughs> Ace Town stomping that nigga. Man, what? What? Um... I know we just we said we was gonna do a real short show this evening because we don't have our co host here. So uh Queen, you gotta have some Queen. What well, what well, give them to him, Queen. You've been out of town, so next week we gonna hear about this. Give yeah. them to him, Queen. Yeah, we wanna hear about the, all the Shout Texas. We wanna hear we wanna have some what the fuck Chuck Texas moments. And I wanna know what kind of eggs the more to D cooked and put the picture of looking like little egg biscuits. That nigga had powder biscuits and eggs, didn't he? <laughs> 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 he just said he was gonna say it. I'm sorry, D. I couldn't help it. No, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. <laughs> had that box of, box of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm man. waiting on your smart ass comment too. Man, he tried to put a, a spinach leaf for each one of them to make it look fancy. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, he said, "What's the number to call in?" Do 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 do. Sim 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 ninety three eleven motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting all the comments fast. I'll try it, man. Yeah. 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 All right. You got anything else anymore that you going to do, want to do, talk about, talk about, want to do, talk about? We got two weeks of NFL training camp. The wait is almost over. It's the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. He a big NFL fan. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I like the Tour de France. Yeah, I'm bougie. I don't care. I've been bougie. He like men in tights. <laughs> riding on a bike. Over big heels. Yeah, over these heels. Don't answer that. I know who that is. <laughs> no. No. I'm an answer. No. <laughs> I ain't naked. <laughs> Darkness, everybody. Chocolate is always good. See, oh. <laughs> I didn't hang up on you. Oh my gosh. I didn't okay. hang up on you, D. Ooh. You, you holler at your boy. Okay. You come in here clothesline people like motherfucking uh, uh, <laughs> Van Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Who? I didn't hang up on you, man. That was your compadre. Uh, mm. What you you, you making a kuna matatas? Those are some kuna matatas. What? You got that from the Lion King? They got a recipe book. I just can't wait to be king. Y'all motherfuckers, boy, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> out, I ain't did nothing. I ain't, I ain't say nothing, did nothing, none of that. Mm-hmm. 8675, where's that? Uh, the, uh, 8675309, yeah. That's yeah, 8675, yeah. Thank you, Milton. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that called Jenny number. Yeah, yeah. Hello. You still on, <laughs> D. I ain't hung up from you, so you say whatever you want to say. I ain't saying nothing. I'm through with your box of eggs. <laughs> you hear him sneaking in there? Huh? Me and Lincoln sent up to eat hot roast eggs, baked beans, macaroni and cheese, and deviled eggs, so I really ain't paying y'all no attention, man. I was actually watching the power with Nick and Tony and Charlie and Fabulous Day. I ain't about to call y'all and let them say it. We appreciate you. Yeah, see, yeah, I see how that calmness in your voice. Remember, I talked to your ass last week, man. I ain't fucking with you. Right, no, no, it's too late, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to expect. You said we gotta expand the set. I'm gonna be sitting over here in the goddamn window. No, 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 no. You, look, you like, I, like you said earlier, I like my fish wet squirrely. Oh, goddamn, you dude. Like you need to go find dude, then, goddamn. Man, for real. I, I ain't can't. I, I try to help y'all a can, but I can't do nothing for you, man. Yeah, you need to find Harry Harrington. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what you say. 
nigga. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Whatever, nigga. It ain't going down like those two niggas that got motherfucking tied up and shit like little bitches. I want to let you know that right now. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. We got a bad connection. I can't hear you. Yeah, I know you can't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get mad and hang up. <laughs> Wax, give me some eggs and grits up in this motherfucker. I'm in the motherfucker. Thank you, Aunt Chauncey. Oh, thank you, Aunt Chauncey. Hey, that's we finna get off of here, man. We just bullshit right now. Um, you got shout out some. You shout out to RGB. Shout out to all the people. It's another week, another yeah. day. Get your grind on. Let's get it, people. Don't let nothing distract you. Do what you gotta do. Go with your purpose. Keep your mind on your goal. And, yeah. And your mind on your money. Your money on your mind. Yes. All right. I'm gonna do my shout outs. Um. First of all, uh, got a shout out, JL Studio, John Lindsay, best tattoo artist in the Chattanooga area, uh, Menlo Park grocery store, Sean Daniels, go over there, spend a dollar or two, um, I feel like I'm missing somebody, uh, <laughs> then he said they had pot roast, you down there cooking chuka cabra, <laughs> y'all done roasted a chuka cabra, what are the things, them chuka chuka, chuka mongos, <laughs> you down there, yeah, that's that pot roast queen, you gonna come back, you be like, oh, my stomach, that nigga figured out how to uh, take the shield off of armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> you been watching Bizarre Foods. I, I like it. <laughs> Those double A's, Rocky Mountain Oysters, ain't they? <laughs> I'm just playing, D. Please, please don't hurt me. Please, Debo. I'm going to put my chains up and everything when you come. I'm going to oh, find that man. music when your ass get here. Let's do 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 I can't wait to see you, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, hey, man. I, I, it's all love. That's all the reason I'm fucking with yeah, you. Yeah, that's man. it. That's all it is. Anyway, so uh, JL Studios, uh, Menlo Park Grocery Store, uh, Felica Cotton for holding it down on the camera side of the game. Um, we love you too, Queen of. Yeah, and I'm going to close out with this right here. Because y'all know, well, y'all probably don't know, but like. The Queen, a.k.a. Miss Nicole, a.k.a. Nikki Nicole, a.k.a. Uh, whatever else. Um, like, that's my girl. Like, when we first got together, we just clicked, we meshed, we became damn near inseparable for a long-ass time, right? And she's always been somebody that, for me, has held it down no matter what's happened. You know, and I could count on her to tell me the truth about whatever it is, whether I'm wrong, whether I'm right, whether whoever is wrong, whether whoever is right. She always, you need people like that in your life. I always relied on your queen to give me that 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 insight, man. Yeah, you you, you are my dog, man. Yeah, you know, and so that's that's how part of the reason that she earned the title, not just was given, but she earned the title of being the queen, um, because you know, like. When we fucking up, she let us know we and, fucking up. And if y'all fuck with us, y'all got to deal with her. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we just want to, since you're not here in your honor, we want to tell you we love you. We appreciate you. Um, I already know. I'm finna, I'm finna, uh, finna be for you when we get off this air. He finna cry. Uh, nah, I ain't finna cry. <laughs> just a hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, that's it. That's all I got to talk about. That's all I want to say tonight. And we out. We out. Bye, D.